Good evening, all of you. And yes, we are back again. And this time we have a session, a brand new session. And the unit test league is going on. Yes, so I told you one hour back that today we are going to have a mentee on the chapter Combustion and Flame. How many of you revised this chapter in this one hour? Good evening, all of you. Dhirendra, Nagendra, Advika, Raj, Pavya, Palak, Papiya. Good to have you back, guys. So, how many of you were actually revising this chapter Combustion and Flame? Because we've done this long back, right? Yes, Palak, I'm absolutely fine. Hey, Harsimran. Akita. So yes, we, we just had a session on chemical properties on explore, like explore with Baijus and over there, many of you were there, I can see. In case you've missed that session, you can always go back and yes, it was, the, the session involved some monsters and we kind of saved the city. All right, now combustion and flame. Let's get started. So, you know, unit test league is going on. You know that the marks are being added in a cumulative manner. You know that you have to perform really, really well. And you know that you have to quickly ask your friends to join in. So, jaldi se bula lo yaar apne sare friends ko so that, you know, the more the better. That's okay. See, even if this chapter is not coming in your first term, it will come in the second term. As it is, you have to be prepared for the chapter. Chapter to prepare karna padega. <laughs> nice one, Palak. Yes. Think, understand, speed, click. All of these things are important. So good to see that you keep coming up with your versions of this. So yes, champions, today this is a brand new session, a brand new unit test league session. And the chapter is combustion and flame and I'm waiting for your friends to join in. Meanwhile, you all know about Baiju's classes, you all know about Baiju's app and you know about this program as well, right? So we've got so many packs for all of you and you can choose starting from one session to two sessions, three sessions, one month, whichever pack you feel comfortable with. But one thing remains common that you will be taught by India's top teachers. So live sessions, live classes with India's top teachers would be there. You can actually avail all the premium features starting from two teacher model to doubt solving to a lot of assessment questions. In-depth knowledge would be there, activity based and I can just go on and on and on but I want all of you to try this. So start, you know, if you don't want to buy, for, buy the one month pack directly, if you don't want to go for that straight away, we can always start with one session, right? Go ahead because this is actually for as low as rupees 199 only. Try this out. Understand what's happening there. Understand how the classes are being held there. I'm very sure you will definitely love this. Yes, Vivek. No, Acha, today it's not my birthday. Krishnendu is saying, where is the toy? I have it with me here right now. You want, you want me to introduce the toy? <laughs> Achha, chalo. Hai. Yes, Palo, you can make a guess. So I have this toy here with me. You can see that, right? So over here, the yellow happy face is there. So whenever you will give the correct answer, I'll be super happy. But when you will give the wrong answers, in that case, I'll be a bit sad. And if the question is very easy and you give the wrong answer, I might be a bit angry also. So, we want the yellow side up always, right? We want the happy yellow side up. So, this is up to you to make me happy today, okay? Yellow side up, give all the correct answers and let's get started with this one. Alright, so first of all, you have to fill in all your details. You know that, right? Fill in all your details. Your name, your phone number, which needs to be correct, guys. Fill the correct details, correct name, correct phone number, your area pin code, and of course, your grade. Grade, I'll tell you, it's grade 8, rest, you have to figure out. Chalo. Form ka ek part to mene fill kara diya. Yes, yellow, yellow. Cute toy, okay. So yes, I'm counting on your people that you have to keep this yellow side up. 
Come on, guys. We are all in one team, na. So we have to make sure that you know most of us are there, and we'll get this one right. Maximum questions right. Great seven years. Definitely go ahead. Try this out. All the best, all of you. Yes, you've already filled the details. So your scores would be cumulative. You all know that about this, right? So let me explain you. How many questions do we have? How do we go about this? So we have a set of fifteen questions with us, and after five questions, we're going to show the leaderboard. So quickly tell your friends that the session has started. Ask everybody to join in. Okay, Kanchi. Chalo, fada fad se just just message your friends that you know some amazing quiz is going on, and we have to make sure that this yellow side is up. Fada fad se call everyone. Yes, Papiya. Okay, you're the clip, paper clip. Puppy dog, who can be a cat? Big eyes, cat eyes, big cat. Everybody's there. Great, guys. Good going. Strawberry football. Yes. So slowly, all of you are joining in. Let's just wait for one more minute. Let everybody join in, and then I'll be shooting questions one by one. You have to pick up the correct answer, mark the correct answer, and please, guys, let's let's focus on getting the answer right rather than getting it quickly. Because you know, with speed, at times you might mark the wrong answer. But focus on accuracy. Yes, speed is very important. Menti hai to speed to dekho important ho gayi. But yes, more important is to get the answers right. Accuracy is more important. Good. Okay. Oh, you got the heart, fella. Emoticon, inventy, frog. That's cute. Yes, I'll ask the questions really quickly. All right. So we have sixty kids with us. Let's get started. Question number one on your screens. Now, wish you all the best. I hope you've revised the chapter. Yes. Chalo. Let's solve question number one. And at least forty of you need to get this one right. Okay, which of the following is not a combustible substance? Not a combustible substance, guys. Focus on the word "not." Kerosene, wood, iron, nails, paper. Which is not a combustible substance? Come on, you know what is combustion? You know what are combustible substances? So obviously, the substances will undergo combustion. Are your combustible substances? Don't write the answer in the chat box. Just give me a thumbs up, or you know, just write done. You can mention that in the chat box, but let's not reveal the answer. Is it going to be kerosene? Is it going to be wood, iron, nails, paper? Come on, guys! I want you to mark the correct answer. Just, just use your common sense. Even if you get confused, common sense. Chemistry का best part ये है कि it is so linked to our day to day life that we can actually use common sense to answer all these questions. I can see done, 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 done. A lot of you are writing that. Good. So I have set a minimum of forty. And forty-five of you have got the answer right. So well done. Yes, iron nails is the correct answer. Absolutely right. Now, combustible substance they would undergo combustion. They would burn, right? Wood, paper they would be burning. But non-combustible substance they would not undergo combustion. They are not going to burn. And there you go. You can see iron nails was in one of the options. If you know we had glass, you can mark glass as well. So well done. So you know about the basics of combustion. So good start, buddy. Yeah, chalo. Let's move on to the next question. All of you with the same energy. Let's solve question number two now. Which of the following fuels has the least calorific value, guys? It says least. Okay, kerosene, CNG, coal, or LPG. Just, just read the question very, very carefully, and you will be able to arrive at the correct answer. Come on. I hope you know the meaning of calorific value. And they're saying least. सबसे कम calorific value किसकी है? Is it kerosene? Is it CNG? Is it coal? Is it LPG? Obviously, we are not trying to use that option because of its low calorific value. What are we not using now? तुक्का तुक्का अच्छा तुक्का लग रहा है. No, I want all of you to think about this and answer. Yes, yeah, so you got confused in this one. See, it's okay if you've made a mistake here. This question को हम याद रखेंगे. We'll remember this question that questions based on calorific value needs more attention now. Thirty-three of you've marked coal as the correct answer. Yes, 
coal actually has the least calorific value. Let's have a look over here. You can see that calorific value is basically the amount of heat energy produced when basically on complete combustion of 1 kilogram of a fuel. Now, over here, you can see the list. Have a look at coal. Right, and of course CNG is above that, LPG is above that, hydrogen, all of them are more, right? Yes, so coal had the least calorific value. And we all know the unit, right? It's kilojoule per kilogram. Now, if I ask you, which fuel would you prefer? You've got a list of fuels. Quickly tell me, which fuel would you prefer? Tukka worked, achha. <laughs> which, let's see, let's see. Kaun sa fuel prefer karo? Hydrogen, yes, because it's got... Such high calorific value, LPG, CNG, yes, CNG, LPG, hydrogen, they all have high calorific value. So, we would prefer that, right? So, of course, with the one that has low calorific value, we don't want to prefer. Like, that's not our preference for sure. So, good. You've understood the concept. And let's move on to question number three. Guys, remember, at least 40 of you have to get the answer right, okay? Which of the following gases is the main cause of global warming? Main cause. Is it nitrogen dioxide? Is it sulfur dioxide? Is it carbon dioxide? Is it carbon monoxide? I think we are studying this since grade 5. We are studying about global warming. Come on all of you. Chalo, fada fada se, mark the correct answer. Nitrogen dioxide, sulfur dioxide, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide. We have 4 options. And I am sure <coughs> you will arrive at the correct answer. If you know the meaning of global warming. And of course, main cause pooch hai. Hmm, interesting. Come on, come on, all of you. Yes. Last five seconds left. I see a lot of you have written done. A lot of you have written done, 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 done. Good. So, out of 62 kids, 46 of you have marked carbon dioxide, which is absolutely right. So, well done. Oh, you marked the wrong option by mistake. That's okay. That's okay. So, global warming is what? It's warming of the earth, right? The temperature of earth is increasing. So, all you had to do was figure out the greenhouse. Main greenhouse gas in this case. Yes? Correct. A lot of greenhouse gases are there. But the primary greenhouse gas, that's what you had to choose. So, carbon dioxide forms a blanket around the earth. Preventing the heat from being lost. And if the heat is not being lost, what's going to happen to the temperature? It is going to increase. It's going to warm. And that is why it's basically known as global warming. Now, if global warming occurs, what's going to happen? If global warming is happening, what is going to happen? What do you think? Oh, you missed two questions. Not a problem. Start from here itself. Yes, glaciers are going to melt. Sea level would be abrupt. Floods can take place. Absolutely right. Yes, methane is CH4, but that's not the equation. That's the formula, chemical formula. Yes, temperature is increasing. Achha. Heat waves, gana lik diya. Ha ha, samaj gaya. Okay, chalo. All right. Oh, you got three on three. Well done. So, let's see how many of you are going to get this one right. So, we are on to question number four. All the very best. Let's see what the question is. Which zone of the candle is the hottest? Really important question. This is a question that's definitely going to come in your exam in some form or the other. Is it the luminous zone, non-luminous zone or the dark zone? We've got three options. Luminous, non-luminous, dark zone. Let's see. Just go back. Recall all the colors. Based on that, you will be able to answer. Hottest kaun sa hai? Come on, guys. You've got good amount of time left. Like, you've got around 18 seconds left. And I can see 64 of your year. 65. Great. Come on. Chalo. Minimum of 40. What? No. It was yellow till here. It was continuing with yellow, but I'll have to change. I'll have to change this to red now. Unfortunately, this has become red. Why? Why have we got this wrong? 18 of you got the answer. I thought, you know, at first glance, I thought 13 is right. 
So I was like, oh, we couldn't make it 40. But now, when I'm looking at it properly, 18 of you have got the answer right. Yes, I have to show red. Unfortunately. Achha, tukka works. We, we can't really keep working on tukkas. Okay. Everyone, pay attention here now. Chalo. Understand this question. You thought about the luminous zone. Luminous zone is not the outermost zone. The outermost zone is non-luminous. And in the non-luminous blue region that you see, their complete combustion is taking place and that is the hottest one. Then in the middle you see the luminous one, which is yellowish in color, yellow-orangish, right? Their partial combustion is take, taking place. Now if partial combustion is taking place, obviously it's moderately hot. And then the innermost dark zone, of course no combustion is taking place there. It has unborn carbon and it's the least hot zone. So the most hot or the hottest hottest zone would be the outermost one and the outermost one is the blue one where complete combustion is taking place which is the non-luminous one now promise me that you will not forget this i know this was oh, i know yeah so you got confused many of you thought luminous actually is the blue one no it's not the blue one non-luminous is the blue one Thumbs up, promise in the chat box that you will not forget this. Good. Thank you for giving me this promise. You don't cry, yaar. Though this is here, but we'll change it soon. Don't worry. Together, we'll change it to yellow. Okay, chalo. Question number five is important because after this, I'm going to show you the leaderboard. And I know you all are super excited. Ma'am, leaderboard dikha do bas. Bilkul dikhayenge. But after this question, so bug up all of you. We have to get this one right. Yes? Okay, chalo. Let's start with this one now. Question number five. Let's attack this together. Let's answer this. At least 45 of us have to get this right. Which of the following is an environmentally friendly fuel which is used in automobiles? C. You can find in options more than one answer that is environment friendly. But which is the one which is being used in automobiles? So use both, you know, the catchy words in the question. Is it petrol, diesel, natural gas or petroleum gas? Come on. Tell me the answer. Petrol, diesel, natural gas, petroleum gas. And this is, I think this is very, very basic. We all know that already. I think this is the best part of chemistry. Everything is related to our day-to-day -day life. Na? Even if we'll just apply logic, even if we'll just apply common sense, we will arrive at the correct answer. Masoom's a question. Hai. Good, well done. I think this is by far our highest. So first of all, I'll change this to the happy yellow face. So yes, I'm super happy that 52 of you have got the correct answer. Natural gas. Absolutely right. Yes. No, no, nobody is ignoring you, Kanak Raju. Yes, yellow is back. Before the leaderboard, let's understand the question. So, carbon containing fuels like wood, coal, petroleum, on burning, they're going to, they're going to cause air pollution. Definitely. They're going to cause respiratory problems like asthma. Acid rain bhi ho jayega, global warming bhi ho jayega, nothing good is coming out of it, right? Yes, and we know what is acid rain, right? The sides of sulfur and nitrogen, they combine with rainwater and this is how acid rain is being formed. But, compressed natural gas, it's comparatively a cleaner fuel and it's also being used in automobiles. So yes, this was a very, very masoom question and good to see that 52 of you have given the correct answer. And on this note, let's load the leaderboard. Yes, absolutely. Let's see who is there who's performing so well. Okay, so we've got the fastest as Garvit, Bhavya, Agash, Aditya, Kanishka, Joshita, Shivadakshini, Shweta, Harsh, Smita. Well done. And I hope all of you are also enjoying your own ranks. And first five questions are done. Now question five to question ten. You have to improve your rank, guys. Come on, you've promised me that together we'll make it happen. So yes, we have to get the answers correct. It's okay, whatever your rank is. This is not the only test that we are going to have. We'll have loads and loads and loads of tests coming up. So many Wendy quizzes are coming up. It's it's a series going on. Unit test leak chal right? It's not a session, right? So don't lose heart. And on this positive note, 
Let's see what is question number 6. All set? Should we load the question? My is saying go, go, yes, let's load. Are they 20th? Achhi rank hai. Chalo. Question number 6 on your screens now. Let's see what the question is. Which of the following burns without producing a flame? Oh, very interesting one. Which is actually burning without producing a flame. So by the, by, by the way, I hope you all know that it's not always that, you know, flames would be there while burning. Is it camphor, kerosene, cooking gas or coke? Bohati interesting options eh? Yes. I think just, just try imagining the color of the flame and maybe by that also you'll arrive at the correct answer. 33 of you have got the answer right. That is coke. So all you have to figure out was whether the substance is vaporizing or not. If it's vaporizing on burning, it's going to produce a flame. Simple logic lagana tha. So yes, the substances which vaporize during burning, they are going to produce flame. If they are not vaporizing, they are not going to produce. So charcoal, coke, they are in a way not producing any flame. They are not vaporizing, right? They are just glowing. But kerosene, cooking gas, these are the substances which vaporize and they produce flame. Yes, I hope you have got the answer right. So camphor, kerosene, they will produce a yellow flame. And in fact, what do we have? We have cooking gas over here that's producing a blue flame. But in case of coke, no flame is being produced. I hope you can see cooking gas now. Yes? Okay. Good all of you. All right. Thoda thoda level up karte rahenge questions ka so that we are very well prepared. Question number seven. Buck up guys. Let's see. We can't restart the quiz Raj. Okay. The calorific value of a fuel is 7000 kilojoules per kilogram. Which of the following fuels is most likely to be this calorific value? For this you need to know the calorific value of various fuels. Is it cow dung cake, methane, hydrogen gas or liquid petroleum gas? I think if you'll actually figure out, we've just discussed um, three options out of these four wherein the calorific value is very very high. I've kind of given you a hint to solve this one. But if you not attention, then the answer will not come. So, this is a little bit of a question. Slightly? Yes, I can see. No, no, no one's going to tell the answer. So yes, the correct answer was option A, cow dung. Yes, I see. For cow dung, it's between 6 to 8. 6,000 to 8,000, right? So cow dung cake between 6,000 to 8,000 kilojoules per kilogram. Rest. So for CNG, you know, mostly methane is present in this. So methane was given in the option. So that goes as high as 50,000. LPG is 55,000. Hydrogen to 1.5 lakh kilojoules per kilogram. So, otherwise also we discussed about CNG, we discussed about LPG, we discussed about hydrogen having very high calorific value. When I asked you which fuel would you prefer, you said ma'am we will prefer CNG, ma'am we will prefer LPG, ma'am we will prefer hydrogen. So, what was fourth option? Tha? Cow dung guys. So, even if you don't know the answer, just use logic. Unfortunately, I will have to revert this. I will have to divert and the red side is up and I am not liking this red side guys. Come on, you have to help me. Yes, you didn't see the zeros. Okay, Tukka does, yes. Tukka is not going to work always. Yeah. Correct, correct guys. Absolutely right. So yes, see CNG, you can see CNG, methane you cannot see, you can see CNG, that's mostly methane only, right, majorly methane. Okay, next question, question number 8, on your screens now, chalo, come on, identify the reason for fires in underground coal mines. <clears throat> 
अगर तो यू नो द मीनिंग ऑफ ऑल दीज थ्री टर्म्स यूल बी एबल टू आंसर इज इट एक्सप्लोजिव कम्बर्शन स्पॉन्टेनियस और रैपिड आई आई थिंक आई रियली लाइक दिस क्वेश्चन रैपिड है स्पॉन्टेनियस है या एक्सप्लोसिव एक्सप्लोजन इज टेकिंग प्लेस वॉट इज टेकिंग प्लेस स्पॉन्टेनियस रैपिड कम ऑन गाइज यू नीड टू नो द मीनिंग ऑफ दीज थ्री टर्म्स देन यू विल बी एबल टू आंसर and of course you need to know what happens in cold mines for that matter yes so disastrous fires is happening in which case come on tell me so good i think bilkul margin pe de diya ki ma'am you just change the color you've set a bar of 40 we'll cross that or we will be at 40 so okay okay this yellow side is up again The answer was option B, spontaneous. Let's see why, because a lot of you have marked other options also. See, if no external source is required, no external cause is there, it's just happening very spontaneously without any external cause or source. Then it is spontaneous. If some external cause or source is required, then it can be rapid or explosive. In rapid, of course, it's taking place rapidly. The combustion is taking place rapidly. In explosive, a lot of heat, light, sound is also there. Large amount of gas is also released. So this is how you identify these three types of combustion reactions. Now we had coal mines. So disastrous fire happened this way. There is no cause, and it just you know kind of catches fire. So yes, that is a spontaneous combustion that's taking place. In fact, when we talk about forest fire. so sometimes you'll notice when the temperature is very high you know it's very hot even forest fires takes place right now in this case what happens it's due to the heat of the sun and forest fire is there that is again spontaneous so i hope you've understood what spontaneous combustion is there is no cause there is no external source involved and still actually combustion is taking place akad bakar karke diya tha answer तभी हो गया गलत अच्छा इट्स ओके ईशान ऑल राइट लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सी दीज क्वेश्चन आर बेसिकली वी आर गोइंग टू हेल्प यू टू फिगर आउट वेर एग्जैक्टली यू गोइंग रॉन्ग अदरवाइज वी कीप स्टडिंग द कॉन्सेप्ट राइट वी डोंट गेट टू नो कि गलत कहां जा रहे हैं हम सो इट्स गोइंग टू हेल्प यू ओके इट इज डेंजरस टू बर्न कोल इन अ क्लोज रूम the gas x produced can be fatal for a person sleeping in the room identify the gas x very very important question not just you know from the exam point of view in actual life also this is a very important question and i want all of you to pay attention in this carbon dioxide carbon monoxide nitrogen or sulfur dioxide figure out the gas x that is being produced which can be really 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 dangerous carbon dioxide carbon monoxide nitrogen or sulfur dioxide which is really dangerous come on guys there is no tukka in this the correct answer is option b carbon monoxide see carbon monoxide it actually reduces the oxygen carrying capacity of the blood also and yes that is why it's very very dangerous now how is it produced see when we talk about the supply of oxygen if the supply of oxygen is good enough then of course complete combustion would take place and carbon dioxide would be produced but if it's insufficient it's not that great in that case what's going to happen incomplete combustion would take place and carbon monoxide would be produced and that's the reason it's dangerous to burn coal in a closed setup because closed setup would have limited up, limited supply of oxygen right so which gas is going to be produced carbon monoxide and can actually cause death as well so you have to be very careful about this and mostly you know you'll realize that if in case you see a fire happening somewhere it's not because of the flames at times the person is dying it is because of carbon monoxide even before the flame could reach the person the person kind of it becomes very fatal the reason being carbon monoxide is just reducing the oxygen carrying capacity so the person is unable to breathe So I hope you've understood this question. Let's move on to the next one. Question number ten, super duper important, guys. बहुत important है क्योंकि इसके बाद what am I going to show you? The leader vote. Come on. Let's try to attempt this question. 
Identify the primary reason for which white phosphorus is used in math sticks. Okay. Good one. Is it the low ignition temperature? <laughs> is it because of it being flammable? High calorific value or high fuel efficiency? You see a lot of different terms. White phosphorus used in math sticks. You have to figure out the reason. Why is that happening? Come on. Math stick kiss purpose say use kare. What do we want? Which property we want to fulfill? That is kind of a hint, right? Just use logic in such questions. Yes. White or... Yes, white phosphorus. Come on. Last 5 seconds left. 3, 2, 1. Ta-da! Everyone has voted. And you've made a staircase over there. Why is it a staircase? Why is it not a pole, guys? Ignition temperature was the correct answer. Option A. Yes, Chakshu, you're a bit late. <clears throat> so the lowest temperature at which a substance catches fire is the ignition temperature. And for white phosphorus, this is actually 30 degrees Celsius. <clears throat> Very easily attainable, right? Galti se mistake ho gaya, achha. Bahut mistake kar raha galti se. Yes, Krishnendu, see, because of carbon monoxide. So, he is saying that there was a case that was being reported in Kerala where three people died because of carbon monoxide. So, that is actually really fatal, right? Tukka kaam kiya, vardan aagaya. Achha. Good evening, Sudhanshu. Okay, if you want to see the leaderboard, I want all of you to quickly like this video. Fata pat se video like karo and then I'll load the leaderboard. Chalo. Like this video if you're enjoying the set of questions that we have for all of you. And of course... Give a thumbs up here in the chat box as well. <clears throat> Good. Okay. All right, Krishna. Noted. So she was saying that. All right. Let's move on and load the leaderboard because I, I can see loads and loads of thumbs up. So, we will are enjoying the set of questions that we have for all of you. And let's see. How are the scoreboard looking now? So, Garvit is there. Agha, Shaditya, Kanishka, Mayank. Mayank was not there earlier, right? Har Simran, Aditya, Ankita, Anjali. Ankita, love Kriti, ma'am. Okay. Funky name. And Shweta. All right. Well done, guys. I hope you are learning with every question. I hope you are able to recognize where are you going wrong. <coughs> this test is just meant to make you aware of your strength areas, your weak areas, concepts that you are very much confident about, concepts that needs revision. Last five questions. So, buck up, guys. Question number 11 on your screens. Now, let's see what the question is. Let's quickly load the question. Which type of fire can be safely put out with water? Hmm, we've discussed this a lot of times. Come on, guys. Water se konsi fire hum extinguish kar sakte? Is it the fire caused by petrol or oil or electrical equipment or something that's caused by wood? For every point, the reason might be different. But you have to use, I think... Logic se kar lo ya science se kar lo sahi kar lo bas. And you've got good amount of time. Petrol, oil, electrical equipment or wood. Yeah, everyone. He, well done. So our happy yellow face is back first of all. 48 of you have marked the answer, right? So well done guys. Good. I'm happy now. So last five questions you are all charged up, huh? So, yes, wood is the one wherein we can use water. And for the rest of them, we cannot. See, petrol and oil, they're lighter. They're lighter than water. They're going to float on the surface and the fire would continue. For the electrical equipment, it's a big no. Definitely, we cannot use water as a good conductor of electricity, right? So, water works only when things like wood and paper are on fire. For electrical equipment, water is going to conduct electricity and it's not going to decrease. It's going to increase the fire for sure. And of course, for oil and petrol, in that case, what's going to happen? Oil and petrol, they are lighter. Water is heavier. So at the surface, oil and petrol would be there. They'll continue to burn. Koi help nahi ho 
This face is too cute. Yes. <laughs> Great. All right. Good to know that. Yes, Dipanjali, wood was the correct answer. Bahut badiya. Chalo. Let's move on to the next question. I think some of you are joining us now, guys. Quickly go to menti.com and use the code 81952611. Chalo, fata fata se join in, guys. It's okay. Last four questions are left, but that's okay. 81952611. Okay, question number 12 on your screens. Now, let's see what the question is. Which of the following are necessary requirements for producing a fire? Okay, something very basic about this chapter. Fuel, nitrogen gas, heat. Or wood, oxygen gas, water. Or fuel, vacuum, heat. Or fuel, oxygen gas and heat. Necessary requirements. You have to think about the substances. What, what, what all do we need for combustion to take place? <coughs> Come on. I think बहुत time दिया हुआ यार this is such a मासूम question and you are being given a good amount of say twenty seconds so much of time you have to solve this question yes what all do we need good before the time would get over I can show this happy face coming up fifty five I think this is by far our highest isn't it fifty five of you have marked the answer right which is option D. So, you definitely need a combustible substance. So, you would be requiring, right, and then you, you would be requiring fuel. You would be requiring supporter of combustion, that's oxygen. And you would also be requiring to attain the ignition temperature. So, well done all of you. So, you know the basics of the chapter for sure. Chapter ka naam, agar combustion hai, to combustion ho kaise hai, wo bilkul pata hai. Haan, Papia is giving a hint to all of you. Papa, Papia is actually helping all of you. She is saying that ma'am, you give us hint. Aap hint de do hume, then we will definitely top. Then we will pakka top kar lenge. You give us the answers. You give us the answers in the... <laughs> Achha, menti ka homework bhi chal raha hai. speed kam ho jayegi menti ki. Alright, sure, we will make it. Done, done, done. Chalo, last three questions. Come on guys. Yes, Shorya, I read the comment. We'll definitely do that. Ah, simultaneously you're doing homework, simultaneously you're learning assist you also. Okay, Papi is saying hint se kaam nahi chalega, I want the answer only. Okay, chalo, let's move on and see what is question number 13. Select the type of combustion in which a material suddenly bursts into flame without the application of any cause. Now, why am I smiling? Because we've just discussed that. Rapid, spontaneous, explosive. Combustion is taking place, but there is no external source or cause. Guys, this is like, I think, this, this question will tell me how attentive you were. I don't even need to give you the answer, Papia, for this one. I think this, this question is kind of really easy. You will be able to answer. Yes. Who is this writing misclick ho gaya? No guys. So the correct answer was option. Are bapre. Option B was the correct answer. Majority of you got it right because 26 of you got it right and 25 of you got it wrong. Itne vachho ne C mark kara. Guys, we just discussed. Spontaneous. No cause is required. Happening spontaneously without any cause, without any source. Rapid is the one that would be requiring... So yes, no external heat source is required in case of spontaneous, rapid and explosive. They would be requiring external help, right? Source or cause. Yes, innocent sa question tha, masun sa question tha, but we got mix of answers. See, why it, it cannot be crackers? If you keep crackers somewhere, no combustion is taking place unless you light, right? You need to provide some external source. Yes. 
Yes. You want to see the red face up. Yeah, tricky one. Unfortunately, guys, before we end the quiz, I want the yellow one to be back, okay? Chalo. Last two questions. Come on, guys. We need to get the yellow one back. Yellow happy face. This, this red sad face is not good. Yes. Mayank is saying octopus don't be sad. But then it's in your hands, right? You have to make the octopus happy. Chalo. Which of the following is a spontaneous combustion? Now I'm just smiling because... And I'm smiling with my fingers crossed that I want you all to get this right. Forest fire, burning of wax in a candle, burning firecrackers, burning of kerosene oil. Spontaneous combustion kaun sa hai? We have actually discussed the example as well while talking about all the questions. We've arrived at the correct answer also. Yes, Harsimran, thank you. Harsimran is saying, ma'am, you've already told us this. So Harsimran was definitely paying attention. Yes, answer, answer. Yes, Akash, I think that's a very good method. Akash is saying, eliminate karo wrong options. Don't look at the chat, you'll get mix of answers. Misleading answers. So 32 of you have marked option A, that is forest fire. See, spontaneous is that it does not require any external source. For the rest of the options, some source is required. It won't start burning on its own. Forest fire is something that might start on its own also. Why? Because of the, say suppose the heat of the sun is too much. It's too hot at some point of time. Then of course, suddenly, even without you lighting, it will catch fire. Okay. Yes. And it spreads really fast. Last question. Who is joining now? Okay. For the one who's joining now, quickly go to menti.com and the code is 81952611. Come on, use this code for the last question that's left. Correct. One last question. Come on, guys. Understand, again and again, we are having a lot of questions based on the types of combustion because we want you to get the concept right. Spontaneous means no external heat sources required, just like we studied about coal mines or forest fires. Rapid. Combustion is taking place rapidly, but external source is required. So burning of kerosene oil or burning of wax, it won't start burning on its own, right? An explosive burning of firecrackers, a lot of heat, light, sound being produced, a lot of gases, large amount of gas is also being produced. Yes, absolutely. Yes, Ashwini, ma'am, I have joined just now, but you're answering all the questions. Good. <laughs> Good going. Yes, one question left. One last question left. That is question number 15. And before I load this question, if now you've understood spontaneous rapid and explosion, quickly hit the like button. Let's see if you've understood or not. Hit the like button and give me a thumbs up over here. Like this video and give me a thumbs up here. Yes. All right, good to go. Good to know that. Chalo, it's still on red. We have to get it back. We have to get the yellow side up. Come on, we are all in one single team. Question number 15, last question for the day. On your screens now. Which of the following substances has the lowest ignition temperature? Wood? White phosphorus, coal and paper. In fact, we've had one explore session on this also. We've actually, if you will remember, we've discussed this. Is it wood? Is it coal? Is it paper? Is it white phosphorus? What is going to catch fire really easily? Yeah, we've done this question. We've discussed about this. Masoom sa question hai yaar. Don't look at the chat box. A lot of confusing answers are coming. Good! See, 40 minimum margin tha. So, we are definitely having this yellow side, happy side up. So, 40 of you could figure out it's white phosphorus. A lot of you have marked wooden paper also. So, yes, they are combustible substances, but they're not having lowest ignition temperature. Lowest would mean that, you know, if phosphorus is actually not, you know, if it's kept in open, it might catch fire. So, it's usually immersed in water. It's very, very reactive with air. Kitna jaldi yellow kar diya aapne, hana? 
Yeah, so I was just waiting for you to answer it right because I was not, it was right in front of me with the red side up and I was not liking it. So yes, very quickly kar diya. Yes, white phosphorus. Leader mode se pehle, white phosphorus ka ignition temperature dekhte hai, which is 30 degrees Celsius, which is way less than all other substances mentioned. And ignition temperature, we all know it's the minimum temperature that's required for a substance to burn. And now let's load the leaderboard. Good, I think I think it's nice. Yeah, that's why it's used in matchstick. Yes, correct. We discussed about matchstick, right? Low ignition temperature of phosphorus. Good, Brenda. Happy to see those yellow hearts. All right. On this note, let's quickly load the leaderboard, the final leaderboard. <laughs> okay, Mayang. There you go. Let's see the leaderboard now. Ta -da! Let's see. Let's see. We have. Who do we have at the top? Karvit. Come on if you're there. If your name is there on the leaderboard, I want you to post loads and loads of smileys in the chat box right now. For that word, say, Jiska naam abhi board pe dekh hai, screen pe dekh hai, post your favorite emojis in finite number of times. <laughs> okay. Garvit, Agash, Har Simran, Aditya, Kanishka, Soumya, Vivek, Aditya, Shiva Dakshini, Mayang. Yes, Garvit, Garvit has posted one. So if you're happy, then also you can post loads of smileys, loads of thumbs up. Loads of your favorite emoji in the chat box, quickly. If you've understood your mistakes, if, you've, if you're ready to learn and improve your score, then also I want you to post loads of your favorite emoji. Come on. Let's let's fill the chat box with happy faces. No crying faces, Agash. No, Krishnendu. <laughs> Why are you people crying? Chalo, fatabats, I want to see some good emojis. Your favorite emojis in the chat box, quickly. Good. See, Himachi is saying, I've enjoyed the quiz. That is more important. Yes, now I can see the chat boxes just flooded with a lot of interesting emojis. No, Shivadas. Yes, ab theek hai. Alright, I hope you all have liked this video, by the way. Chalo. Now, why do you need to join Telegram? We don't need to tell you this now. Because the ones who are there, they can themselves tell you in the chat box. They are enjoying a lot on Telegram. They are getting everything filtered for them. All the session PDFs, all the updates, everything goes there first. So yes, quickly join Telegram and you will actually get everything starting from homework questions, a lot of practice questions, all updates and we can connect more. Correct. Good, all of you. And yes, we've got you covered. So we keep telling you that we will be back with, you know, the kind of sessions that you want us to be back with. So we definitely take your feedback very, very seriously. So you let us know in the comment section, what kind of sessions are you expecting from us? And you know, you all know we're a new channel, right? But we make sure that we are there and we will make sure that you ace the exam. So keep sharing your feedback with us. It means a lot to us. So yes, good. No, no, there was just... One menti. Nice. <laughs> All right. Okay, you want social science sessions. Definitely we'll work on that. Now, very, very important, guys, what's coming next. So, understanding quadrilaterals. So, you know this chapter. That's a very important maths chapter. On July 21st, Thursday, 6 p.m., you'll have your next unit test league session on this. Be very well prepared. Why we are telling you the syllabus beforehand is so that, you know, you are able to prepare better. So, yes. Now you can see. Thursday. Yes. All right. Chalo. And for the ones who have not yet tried this, kya kar ra? Fada -fada se try karo. You can see all the premium features out there. Everything starting from a two-teacher model to your doubts getting clarified instantly to you being taught by India's top teachers. So yes, go ahead. The link is right there in the description box. Padoge, tabhi samaj aayega. Try karoge, tabhi samaj aayega. And if nothing else, you can definitely go for a pack of one session at least, right? 199 rupees ka hai. Go try this out. And finally... Hit the like, share and subscribe button. I hope you've done it by now. You've subscribed to the channel also and you've hit the bell icon as well. Yes? Good. Yes, absolutely. So, alright guys, keep working hard, keep smiling and I'll see you super soon again.
Take care. Bye-bye.